Hey guys, it's Holly and welcome on back to Portal Knights. Now in today's episode we are going to be heading back to our battle arena and we are going to go take on the Night Hunter 10 times. Yes, you heard me correctly. We're going to defeat this guy 10 times or attempt to defeat this guy 10 times and see exactly what items he is dropping. I do still have my armor on from the hard mode boss, so I am hoping that we are going to be strong enough. So let's see in here, what do we actually need to be able to craft this? So we have the Night Hunter Amulet of Invocations, summons the Night Hunter back to this dimension. So you need one energy crystal and four bones. So I'm going to go ahead and we are going to craft up 10 of these guys, and then I'm going to head back back out to the battle arena and see how this is all going to work. Alright, we are on the vacant red planet. That is our battle arena. Now, this guy doesn't actually say if he deals earth damage, dark damage, or light damage. So I honestly don't know what weapon is going to be the best. I hope that he doesn't spawn right in on top of me so we can check this guy out a little bit. Oh, jeez, he did. <laughs> Let's get away from him for a second. I don't know if he's already aggro. No, okay. So that is him there. He actually looks a little bit different, but that could just be my imagination. He kind of looks a little bit more blue-green, but uh, I'm not terribly sure. Now, this guy wasn't actually that strong. The strongest part about this guy is actually his dogs. When he spawns in his dogs, they are really quite scary. So uh, let's come up and see how much damage we're doing and how much damage he does on us. Okay, so we're at like between two and 500 with our new Sky Bolt. And this Iron Fist actually doesn't seem to do too bad. Now these dogs are, oh my goodness, this is, okay. This is probably gonna be a lot harder than I anticipated for. I, oh my word, there are dogs everywhere. Okay, so... Yeah, this this could actually take me a little bit longer than I originally thought. I didn't think this guy would be too hard, but he's actually dropping some sort of bomb on us as well, which, I don't know. I don't think he did that um, when we originally beat him up. <laughs> okay, so that is our first one down. I'm going to try this a few more times, see how we go. We have nine left. Let's get this done. Oh my goodness, there are just so many dogs, look at this, look at this, look how many dogs are chasing me, I think there's like six, yes, there are, no, there are, yeah, there are six, I have six dogs chasing me, this is ridiculous, this is so much harder than the original one, and these dogs are all level 25, and down I go, <laughs> oh my goodness, alright, we are on to number 10, nearly there guys, nearly there, Okay, can we just take this last guy out? Oh my word! Oh no, that was a double KO. Uh, did the stuff despawn? No, quickly, quickly Holly, move your backside, run Holly, run. I really don't want that stuff to despawn. This was number 10, and then we are going to check out everything he has actually dropped. Phew! Alright, I was a little bit worried there. That, uh, that was a double KO. We both died at the same time. That's pretty funny. All right, so we are going to head into our backpack and check out exactly what this guy was dropping. So we have the Totem of Ice, which requires a mage, and it says it slows down all enemies in range. That's pretty cool. We then have this Ring of Divine Protection. It has armor of 100 and it does, it has light damage resistance of plus 10%, additional strike chance of plus one and a multi-strike chance of plus 4%. Then we have this golden sword here, which is called the Golden Woe. It does 160 damage and it's an absorber. 18% chance to restore 20 health when struck by spell damage, health plus 85, mana regeneration plus 17. That's actually a pretty good weapon. I'm not 100% sure what damage uh, the weapons that I have are currently doing, but that's 
That's pretty cool. And the health plus 85, that's somewhat similar to the fist. The fist does a health plus um, 100. We also have a bite trap. Uh, the, obviously the trophy up here, I forgot to mention that one. There is a cloak down here. So this is a shroud of double crossed crosshair. So it has a critical strike chance of plus 5%. And a critical strike damage of plus seven percent that's actually a really good cape i think the watchman cape only has one better than both of those these titanium throwing axes are really cool as well they uh do 190 damage the only problem is with these that i found is obviously once you throw them you can't get them back um like they are gone you have the totem of shadows here which requires a mage and it deals dark elemental damage and it is strong versus life. But that is also obviously for a mage. We have a standard of the Righteous King. And it does armor of 51 and health regen of plus 17. I really like the colors of that too. It looks kind of cool. Next up, we got an Orb of the Devoe. It is a mage weapon and it says deals light elemental damage, strong versus dark. Multi-strike chance of plus 17%, additional strikes plus 1, and mana regeneration plus 17. And this last one looks pretty cool. This is the Gold Masterwork Fist of War. It deals light elemental damage, strong versus dark. It has a multi-strike chance of plus 17%, an additional strike of plus 1, and a health regeneration of plus 85. So it's actually... Not quite as good as the Titanium Masterwork Fist, but it's still pretty good. Like, it's only a few points off of that. So that is pretty cool. And, oh, I didn't realize there is actually another totem down here in my hotbar. So this is the Totem of Storms. So we obviously also need to be a mage for this one. And this deals electro damage, so it's strong versus water. So that is all the weapons we were able to get from the Night Hunter, but are they any good, I'm wondering? So maybe what we might do, we might head out to the Hollow King, go test these weapons, and see if they're actually worthwhile. So we are here, and I'm going to be testing these weapons least favorite to most favorite. So I think the Golden Woe is possibly not going to be that great, but we will give it a go, see how this actually works. And I'm also curious if this boss is dropping any cool loot since the update, because I, I haven't been out here to try. So let's give the Golden Woe a try, see how good this weapon actually is okay so that was actually a lot better than i expected it to be i kind of thought seeing as it was going to be made of gold that it wasn't going to be too good but that's uh that actually does quite a lot of damage i'm i'm honestly pretty shocked about that so the next one we are going to try will be these titanium throwing axes and these guys aren't too bad either but the fact that you can't actually pick them back up, that kind of bums me out a little bit. To be totally honest, like, it kind of feels like I'm just throwing my weapon in the garbage. If I could run around and pick these back up, that would be really cool. But obviously we can't. So that is probably the only downfall of that. And the last one we are going to try is the Gold Masterwork Fist of War. So I'm guessing this is going to do quite a lot of damage against this guy, seeing as they do deal light damage. So let's see. Okay, that's it's actually really quite good as well, even though it is also a gold weapon, uh, not a titanium weapon. It actually does a pretty good job. So let's just go ahead and take this guy out now and see exactly what weapons, if any new weapons, this guy is actually dropping at the moment. Come on, buddy. This should be hopefully good enough to take him out. And there we have it. Excellent job. Let's see. Have you got any new gear for us at all since the update? Let's have a quick run around. So we got some titanium throwing axes. We also got a dark print. We got an Astral Heart, 
Uh, we got another Titanium Masterwork Fist of War. They are actually really good. If you guys didn't see my last episode, that is actually what I used to take down the Electro Worm in Hard Mode Boss. So that is pretty cool. All in all, these weapons are pretty good. So it will be interesting to see what we get from the All Watcher. That is going to be the next boss we will be taking on in the battle arena. But today, I think I'm actually gonna have to leave this episode here. Thank you so much for joining me again. And I hope to see you all again soon. Alright, thanks guys. Bye.